and salutations everybody, Lord X here. Just completed another trip around the sun and decided, you know, there's nowhere really to go today to celebrate a birthday. Normally what I would do is I would go see like a movie or two at the theater, but that's still closed. We hit level two here tomorrow and that allows the theater, I believe, to be open, but who knows if they're going to open then or not. So, a little unfortunate, you know. But, I celebrated another way. I went out and bought a bunch of random mystery items to open up here on the channel. Because I figured, why not? This will be a fun way to celebrate my birthday. And to everybody out there, I hope you're staying safe, you're wearing your mask, if you're out in a very dense, populated place that still has a virus going strong, unfortunately. So I... Hope you people in those places, you're doing the right thing, you're social distancing, you're wearing your mask to help protect other people and yourselves. It's a little easier here in Newfoundland where we haven't had any cases now in like a, almost a month, I think. We, we've hit like 23, 24 days now, and we currently have no known cases here. I'm, I'm getting off topic. We're, we're talking about the wrong thing. We're here today. Talk about some blind box stuff that I picked up. I went to Toys R Us. I went to Dollarama. Uh, I never went to EV Games. I went to Sunrise Records. I picked up something there, which I'll talk about in a pickup video, uh, which I will be recording soon to get Volume 2 pickups out, talking about the stuff I picked up in April, May, and June. So that's coming soon. But today, we got some Dollarama stuff here, and we got some Toys R Us stuff. I've got cards, and I've got blind boxes. So... In Dollarama, we'll just talk about the stuff I got here first before we go through it. Uh, I picked up one of these Marvel Ushis, I believe they're called. Uh, the Light Force, Squeeze Me, Avengers, they're Micro Light. Yeah. It was two bucks. I'm like, you know what? That's fine. That'll add to what I can open here. Uh, we got some cards, of course. And this is a dollar twenty-five for eight Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm not expecting very much out of these, but we're going to find out today what Dollaram is actually giving people in turn. Wow, the shine on that, the glare. Uh, what Dollaram is giving people in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh cards for a dollar twenty-five? Who knows? Maybe there's something good over at Dollarama. I got some Pokemon cards. We got some Pokemon Sword and Shield booster pack. Uh, of course, ten game cards in here. We'll see what we get. Uh, let's go with the two blind boxes here. We got two of these Venom Mystery Minis. As you know, I love the Venom line that Funko has been doing. Got a couple of these open. I got two of these briefly to talk about on the next pickups video, which is Captain America, and I got another Loki. Which is great, because that Loki one is actually pretty valuable. And finally, going with cards. These were on clearance for $22. I think normally they were $29. That is the 2019 Tops Women's Division Trading Cards. With one hit inside, so who knows what that'll be. Uh, looking for autographs, shirt and mat relics, and more. Uh, yeah. As you can see on the front there, we got Becky Lynch, Asuka, Nia Jax, Kyrie Sane, Alexa Bliss, Shayna Baszler. And on the back, we got Lacey Evans and Bailey. And of course, the Iconics there, Billy and uh, Peyton on the top. So that's what we got to go through here. Uh, first, let's let's do the Dollarama stuff first. So let's uh, pop open the Ushis here. We'll do the big uh, women's division card thing last because that's a lot to go through. And out of these, we got the head of Iron Man. Yeah, this is like little oh well it says to squeeze them there's a little light on the bottom <laughs> that's a uh, weird okay whatever that's a uh, little that's a little battery pack here on the bottom okay now what we'll do next we will do the UVO card because we did a blind box we'll do a card pack in a blind box a card pack and a blind box And then, hopefully, I do my scissors here nearby. 
There we go. Got those open. So what do we get for the cards? We got... Whew. What is this? DDD. Flame High Knight. A Flame High King. Yagus? Gingus? It's a first edition anyway. And there you go. I don't know I will. It's not really showing up. My uh, camera is not the greatest. We have... Watcha! A crystal rose. That, yeah, the name is shiny, so I don't know if that's good or not. It's a first edition again. So there you go. I'll probably see if I can find some valuable values on these afterwards uh, through eBay and see what they're uh, worth, and maybe I'll stick that up like down here on the bottom of the screen while I'm going through these. Next, we got Magician's Right Hand, a spell card again, a first edition. There you go. And watch out! Oh, that is bright! We got Diana the Light Spirit. Man, I am so out of touch with Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, I love the original, like, two, first two seasons were really good. Then I just kind of fell out of Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff after that. And uh, next up here, uh, this does not say first edition, so who knows? It is Nightmare Mermaid. And again, the card is shiny. Or the name is shiny anyway. Don't know if that actually means anything or not. Uh, next we got Abyss Actor Trendy Understudy. Again, first edition. So the only card that isn't, and you can barely see it, but yeah, you can't really see it there, but dang, right on the bottom in the green it does say first edition down there. And the last two here are first editions as well. We got Twilight Ninja. Since I'm going to butcher that, so I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. Again, very hard there to try and get that to focus. Yeah, my camera's not picking it up. Uh, it's not that great anymore. So, yep, yeah, there we go. And finally, Gravekeeper's Spiritualist. Cool. That is the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And again, I'll put, I'll try and find some sold listings on eBay for these, and I'll put it down below here. Let us do a Venom blind box. Now this one's kind of heavy, so we'll do that one. We'll do that one first, because that might just be uh, Thanos, which is one in six. So out of these, I already have. Uh, I have the Miles Morales. I have the Captain America. I've got two Lokis, and I've got two Deadpools. I believe that's all I've pulled in the so far. Kind of hoping for a Captain Marvel at some point. Let's do it. Pop the box up here. Hey, nice! We got ourselves an Incredible Hulk. There he is. That's a very, very nicely, nice quality, uh, figure right there. I swear, some of these, like, mini mysteries from Funko are way better than the actual full-sized one. And Hulk is a 1 in 12, so that's a, that's a really nice hit. And the box at Toys R Us was pretty much full. I think it was, like, one or two taken out of it. So, oop, I was about to do the uh, next blind box there. Let's do the Pokemon cards next. The actual pack here, uh, that's the Mega... Or I haven't played Sword and Shield in a little while. I forget what they call their Gigantamax. There it is. Snorlax. They're on the front cover. So let's hope we uh, pull something nice out of this. If I can actually open them. Damn. Not doing well with just flat out opening card packs today. Alright, so let's do this upside down. Uh, you know what? I don't play the online Pokemon card game, uh, so I'm going to pop a code here right now, which unlocks 10 additional cards to play and compete online. So if you want this code, go right ahead and take it. And here it is right there. So first come, first serve. 
and it's gone. All right, so I think these are get yep, these are right side up here. Boom! First we have right on. Very nice. Next we have a potion. Yeah, a potion. My hair is definitely getting down in my eyes right now. <laughs> I do need to go to the haircut. There we go. We got a great ball next. Okay. And we got some lightning energy or electric energy. Boom. Oh, we got uh, more Pico. That's the hungry Pokemon. They actually made <laughs> angry, hungry a cannon thing in the Pokemon world, which is kind of funny. Boom. Oh, we got a Chico. The squirrel type Pokemon, I believe. And next year we got a Snob. Those things are absolutely adorable if you ask me. I had to catch one as soon as I found one in the game. And next up here we've got, oh, this was one of my favorites from Short Sword. Sword and Shield had some really cool designs for Pokemon and this uh, bug fire type was absolutely one of the fantastic ones. This says Lizzlepede. I butchered that again, I know. That's a really nice one to have. And we got a Rookie D. Again, the Pokemon in Sword and Shield were so good. I loved Corviknight. He was really awesome. I love a good, you know, like, a, like some of the later Pokemon games, they haven't had a good starting flying type. But Rookity was really cool, if you ask me. Hey, we got ourselves an old school Pokemon here in Ghastly. And finally, we have Kalapapus, the boxing octopus. Which, uh, it was cool to see that one come along the lines. And again, another neat design, if you ask me, for the Pokemon games. And once again, code right there, if you guys want some online cards, free of charge from good old Lord X. All right, next, we're diving into this second blind box here. Let's see what we get. It's a uh, lighter figure, this one. So here we go. Out of the box. Just hoping not for a double. I did not get a double. We got ourselves the Iron Man. Again, very neat design. I think the, like, the smaller Funko goes with their figures, like the more well detailed they go. That's really cool. And I got two that I did not have before. All right, now then, we move on to the women's uh, card back here. Open up this box. There are 71 cards in this. Yeah. You can see it. See right there. 71 cards. That's a lot of packs. Actually, do it this way. We've got our one hit card inside right here. We'll save that till the very last or somewhere in between, maybe. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs here to open up with everybody's favorite. The man Becky Lynch there, and of course, when doing this uh, unboxing video, I just had to wear the appropriate attire, my Becky Lynch t-shirt. So here we go, pack number one. Watch me struggle now to open up these card packs. Toss this aside. Let's do it this way. We have Lacey Lane. Which I believe uh, they've changed her name now. What? I am drawing a blank. Blank. I was going to say Casey Cannon Zero, but that's like her tag team partner, essentially, and her best friend. But uh, there we go. Prior to the name change, NXT Superstar. Hey, we have a classic. Miss Elizabeth, the original, awesome female in the WWE, or one of. Next, we have a. Uh, Women's Division, uh, WrestleMania 34, it's Ronda Rousey's debut match with Triple H on her shoulders and a fireman's carry. Next we have Sasha Banks and Bailey renew their friendship. 
That was from Raw 2018, uh, July 23rd. I should be putting these down right in front of me, actually. Next, we have Team Raw defeats Team SmackDown at Survivor Series with uh, Nia Jax there doing a leg drop onto Oscar in 2018. And full circle, they're feuding again right now, kind of. Uh, we have Sherry Montel there, Sherry, Scary Sherry. That's cool, nice little comeback there. And we have a Royal Rumble moment, Peyton Rice. That's the first card pack. Going on, to number two. I should have it set up so I can just lay these in front of me. And make it a little bit easier here. And quicker. I say that as I struggle to sort things in front of me and open up another pack. Here we go, pack number two. We're going to pick up later. Next, NXT Superstar, Zia Lee. She's pretty great. Yep, going to lay them in front of me. I'm going to take these up here as well. He's down. Boom. Next, Shayna Baszler. One of my favorites right now in the NXT Women's Champion. It's Io Shirai. Mandy Rose. Somebody that's underutilized in my opinion and should be far higher up on the curd and competing for the women's title. Ruby Riot. And here we have Lita brings back the Lita Salt at Evolution. And finally, a Royal Rumble moment. It's Zelina Vega staring down Candice LeRae. So boom, there we go. Back number three. This is going to be a long video, I realize. I'm probably going to have to edit this down quite a bit. All right, first off. Ember Moon. Oscar. Probably my favorite female superstar at the moment. No offense to Becky Lynch. Next we have Billy Kay, one half of the Iconics. Former NXT superstar and now back on the Independence. It's uh, Diana Perazzo. The Virtuosa. Ah, one of NXT's great. Super Surge right now, Mia Yim. One of my favorites of all time in the WWE, Lita. I believe that's, uh, I'm gonna say her evolution look. But yeah, Lita, cool. And finally, another Royal Rumble moment, we have Carmella. There we go, that's three packs in. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more. So we'll do these two, then I'll open up the big hit. And hopefully we got something really nice in this big hit. It'd be cool to get a really nice autograph. Alright, so next up here, we have Candice LeRae defeats Zelina Vega in NXT in 2018. We have Alexa Bliss cashes in on Nia Jax at Money in the Bank. We have now Raw Superstar here, NXT Superstar, Bianca Belair. She is fantastic. Asuka wins the first ever women's triple threat TLC match. Defeating uh, Becky Lynch and uh, Charlotte. Uh, one I'm not very familiar with here, uh, Nina, Nina Samuels. Cool, NXT Superstar. We have the Women's Division celebrates at the end of the first WWE All Women's Pay-Per-View Evolution. A nice little shot there. Can barely see it, but you know what it is. And finally, Royal Rumble moment, Candice LeRae. Pack number five. We're halfway through it, folks. So, starting off. We have another former NXT superstar in Tainari Kanati, Tanara, Kanati, the Brazilian uh, girl. She's awesome. Uh, next, Candice LeRae. 
prior to becoming the uh, Poison Pixie, currently, or Heal Persona. Another former Superstar, recently uh, released amongst a lot of other talent and employees, Maria Canellis. We have the boss, Sasha Banks. We have Riot Squad version of Liv Morgan. Next up, another one of my current favorites, and she hasn't been used lately. I believe she might be injured right now, though. And that's uh, Kyrie Sane, one half of the uh, Kabuki Warriors and one half of the uh, Sky Pirates. And finally, Royal Rumble moments, Ember Moon. I'll make a note too if any of these are like a major hit. Or I was just about to open up pack number six, but let's do the big hit. Let's see what we got here. Hopefully, it is something really cool. Ooh, we have a signed card. Hey, this is boom. This is really cool. I'm very happy with this one. We have a signed Casey Canton Zero card. There we go with the uh. Autograph right there on top. Top certified, it says. Authentic autograph. So that is freaking awesome. Congratulations, you have received an autograph, authentic autograph card from 2019 Tops WWE Women's Division. 192 of 199. So that is freaking awesome. Very happy with this one. She is an absolute joy to watch in the ring. Uh, she wasn't in the Royal Rumble this year, but if you look up the 28, 2019 Royal Rumble, I believe it was, or 2018, the first one, she had some, she was really impressive in that Royal Rumble. So, that is cool. I am very happy with this autograph. I'm going to put it up here. Like, I mean, would I have loved to get a Becky Lynch one or an Asuka autograph or Kyrie Sane or Io Shirai? Yes. I'm very happy with Casey. If utilized right, I think she could be a really big superstar. Alright, so let's keep this train moving forward. Next up, we have a WWE legend, Marlena. Is this Terry Reynolds? He kind of looks like Terry Reynolds. Marlena was bought, brought to the WWE Gold Dust and this one. Yeah, this is, uh, he's called Marlena here, but I'm. Pretty sure that's Terry Reynolds. <laughs> and next up we have Shayna Baszler defeat Denver Moon to become the NXT Women's Champion right there. Uh, take over New Orleans. Asuka defeats Mandy Rose on SmackDown Live. Kyrie Sane defeats Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship at NXT Brooklyn 4. <laughs> This is like all they have won championships. Shayna Baszler becomes a two-time NXT Women's Champion. Right there, uh, TakeOver War Games 2. Another evolution moment. Nia Jackson and Tamina pay tribute to Roman Reigns <laughs> doing the hoorah thing. And finally, Royal Rumble moment. Alexa Bliss. I'm actually very happy with this uh, card pack so far and I'm not going to lie, if, when payday rolls around next week and I see that these are still on sale over at Toys R Us, I might grab another pack of these. I'd love to get another autograph card, really. Alright. Oh, wow. This pack did not want to open very nicely. Alright. Next we have a Ronda Rousey card, where she wins the... Yeah, Raw Women's Champion Ronda Rousey defeats Nia Jax at TLC. Hey, we have a Alundra Blaze card. That's cool. Also known as Medusa. We have MJ Jenkins from NXT. Haven't seen her in a while. Yeah, I'm not sure if she's still around or not. We have another Bianca Belair card. We have a, another Peyton Royce card. We have a Maris card, first wife of the Miz. Reality TV star right now with Miz and Mrs. She's been awesome when she had that little run coming back. She was uh, pretty awesome doing stuff with Miz. 
And finally, Royal Rumble moment, Becky Lynch there eliminating Charlotte Flair. Pack number eight. We're almost done, folks. We're almost there. I'm going to have to edit this down a lot because it is much longer than I thought it was going to be. Right now, the recording's at uh, 26 minutes. Next, Natalia. I'm going to fire through these, folks. We have Dana Brooke. Hey, Trish Stratus. Again, one of my favorites of all time. Fellow Canadian and awesome person in general. We have Nia Jax defeats Alexa Bliss to become the Raw Women's Championship at WrestleMania 34. Next, in that weird time when Nia was a babyface, uh, we have Bailey. Uh, obliterates, Bailey obliterates Sasha Banks. Raw, June 25th, 2018. Wow. Uh, we have an evolution moment here with Jessamyn Duke and Maria Shafir attack Kyrie Singh. And finally, a Royal Rumble moment with the very awesome Sonya Deville. If you have not been watching SmackDown lately, Sonya has been killing it with her promos and storylines right now. She is freaking awesome. And mark my words, if she continues this like work of just performing so well with the material that's being given to her, She's going to be a future uh, top women's champion right there and fan favorite. Pack number nine. Here we go. First up, we have Becky Lynch. Uh, Becky Lynch leads a SmackDown Live Invasion on Raw. Would have been cool if they gave you the uh, part right here of her standing in the audience with her face busted open. That would be awesome. Uh, we have Natalia defeats Ruby Wright in a tables match at TLC. Bianca Belair becomes the number one contender for the NXT Women's Championship. We have Alexa Bliss wins the first ever Women's Elimination Chamber match. That was a really good chamber match. Next up, we have Jesse Camilla, NXT Superstar. I'm not too familiar with her. Oh, this is great. We have General Manager Paige. An absolute shame that her career did get cut short the way it did, but Paige is still freaking awesome. Check out her Twitch channel. She does good stuff. And finally, Royal Rumble moment. Casey Catton Zero. Now, which Royal Rumble was this? This has got to be a 2018, I assume. Doesn't really say. But that's cool. Again, we got her autograph, so that's awesome. Final pack here. Pop this open, toss this to the side. First off, we have Naomi. Stay tuned for the pickups video I will be doing uh, within the next few days because there's a Naomi goodness there. Uh, next up, former WWE Superstar, one of the uh, releases that happened on the Black Tuesday or whatever it was, where so many people got released, Sarah Logan. And she's also coming said that she's done with uh, wrestling right now for a while and pursuing other things. Next up, we have Alicia Fox. Alicia Fox. Nah. nah. That's his name, Dar. Naomi Dar. You know, the crew like, white... what can I say his name right now? It's freaking weird. Uh, Wendy Richter. Somebody who should be in the Hall of Fame. I think she's in the Hall of Fame, or she should be in the Hall of Fame. Uh, we have Shayna Baszler defeats Dakota Kai to retain the Women's Championship. Man, I never got a Dakota Kai card out of this. No, I'm kind of depressed. Uh, Mandy Rose there. Uh, eliminates Sonya Deville from the Battle Royal at Evolution. And finally, this is a good one to end on. She's awesome. It's a Royal Rumble moment with Nikki Cross there running crazily down to the ring. Boom, and that does it, folks. That is the full card box right there. 70 cards in total. Freaking awesome. I did buy a binder and some uh, card sleeves to put these into, so I will be doing that after this video. Thank you so much for tuning into this uh, birthday unboxing thing, I guess, with stuff that I bought myself for my birthday. It happens. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for tuning into this random unboxing video. I've been Lord X. You have been awesome. And if you like this uh, 
kind of stuff like opening up card packs and stuff, let me know down in the comments below and maybe I'll do this again from time to time when I have the cash to spare to go out and buy some random ass stuff like this. So until next time, I've been Lord X, you have been awesome, and I'll catch you next time. Bye! <laughs>